Hi guys and welcome back to another delicious episode of Shelly's Homemade And today, yes today guys, we're doing another Thanksgiving episode And yes, we're going to be making some homemade cornbread stuffing Yes, this is a must have on Thanksgiving And yes, you do know that, that is what you're supposed to have So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get some cornbread in the oven Yes, I'm telling you, making this I'm gonna crack an egg in, in here first. The egg is all good. We're gonna put half of this because I don't want to put all of that sugar in there. But I do add a little sugar because you know I like a little sweetness to the cornbread. And we're just gonna whisk the egg and the sugar together first. And then it's a half a cup of milk. We're only going to do one box because we're doing a little bit. Now you can double or triple this recipe. So this is a fourth of a cup. So we use half of this. So yeah. Now you can make home homemade cornbread. You only have to use this box, but because I'm making stuff in and I'm doing all this other stuff, chopping and stuff, I don't want to have to deal with all of that. So I'm just gonna make my stuffing cornbread mix from the box. But I am going to come to you guys with a video for homemade cornbread too, so you don't have to worry. But this is just for the cornbread stuffing. Alright, so you don't want to over mix it, you just want to make sure it's all combined. And that's it. And that's it. Cornbread, okay. So I have my prepared pan. I'm just going to add this. You can do this in a cast iron frying pan as well. Or you can do it in this. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And get it in there. Get your oven preheated on box instructions. Uh, I think this one said 375. So, tap this. Put all the air bubbles out. Just gonna get this in the oven and be right back. Okay, so I'll corn beef. I'm mean, not corn beef. I'll corn say I want some corn beef. I love a good corn beef sandwich, yo. Yes, I do. All right, so I got chicken breast here. Um, so that I'm gonna cut up, get into my bowl, and I'm gonna cut up some onions and celery. All right, so we're just gonna cut this up. It's cold, and we're gonna put it in our cornbread stuffing. Just gonna cut it into small pieces. I normally just shred it, but today we just gonna cut it into small pieces. It's gonna come apart anyway. All right, and that's all the chicken you need. So this is about um, a cup and a half. All right, so our celery. Cut this. And I don't like like jumbo pieces of celery in my stuffing, so. And since it's gonna be a small thing, like I said, you can triple this, you can double this, however you wanna do that. And you can put as much onion and celery, you can leave it out if you don't like it. just chop it up in some small bite-sized pieces all right and then we're just gonna get it I just want to finish this now, this is the recipe to have on hand when you're making Thanksgiving dinner. This one cornbread. 
Come over here dressing or stuffing. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Which one do you call it? Come over here, I mean, stuffing or um, dressing. So we're just going to get this onion chopped down. And this is one easy thing. Like I said, on Thanksgiving, you just want it flavorful and easy. I, I made recipes that took all day and I was like, oh, I can't do this. So I learned to shorten these recipes and break it down to make it convenient for me because you're going to be in the kitchen all day just cooking. half of this onion so half it will do all right so there's your celery and your green peppers and um we're just going to put some plastic wrap over top of this and get this in the refrigerator and tell them we're ready when the cornbread comes out all right so this is out of the oven this is what we want i let it go for a little while so it could you know dry out just a little bit because i want it to kind of dry out a little bit so i left it in there a little longer than I probably would. So I'm gonna set this on the back counter, let it cool down. When I come back, we're gonna saute those vegetables. Alright guys, so we got my pan heating up right here. We're gonna get a little butter in there. And I have some avocado oil that I put down the bottom. Alright. Let's get our veggies in. So we can get that going. Right. So let's get some minced garlic down in here. So you want about a tablespoon of some minced garlic in here. Like I said, you could triple this recipe, double this recipe. It depends on your guests and how many you have. And if it's just you, then use this amount. And I'm doing here. Alright, I just want to saute this up, but I don't want to saute it too much. Because, you know, it's still going to cook in the oven. And I like like a little crunch, a little tiny crunch. With some integrity of, you know, texture. You know, I like a little texture. Let's get this chicken and hate And we just letting this cook. Alright, so when the onions and stuff become translucent and it can soften down some. And that's it, that's all you cook. What is this? Got the chicken going in here. You got the onions and celery. I mean, if you want to add bell pepper and carrots to this, that would be fine. You know, there's no limits. Use your imagination. Make it your own. You know, I'm giving you the borderline, you know, of a fantastic recipe. That could be so, so much more. But yeah, this is a beautiful dish. You don't need eggs in this. None of that. All right. I, I, let's move to the All next right, step. Let's get this going. Got my bowl ready, and all I'm doing is just breaking up this cornbread. Just get it into the bowl, breaking it up. You know, this is a stress reliever too, as well. Get it in there and just break this down. Oh man, really tasty cornbread, tasty stuffing. If your cornbread is your base, you wanna make sure that that cornbread tastes good. All right, so just get in there. 
break up all that good stuff. You want to get your uh, mixture, your chicken and onions and celery mixture with the garlic, and get all that in that pan. Just like this. And all that butter and everything that's in there, you want to get all of that inside of there, just like that. That helps moisten and flavor. So now, we got some poultry seasoning. Uh, my daughter said I don't hold it long enough, so there, I have some poultry seasoning. You don't want to get a lot, because and there, but you want to get just enough. All right, that's enough. Got some black pepper. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Hit that comment section. Let me know what y'all liked about this video. Or this the stuffing that you know, a go-to for you guys, or what, and also, guys, I know y'all watching this video, and y'all ain't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I'm telling you, you want, you want these videos in your life, I got some garlic powder, alright, you're gonna get this garlic powder in there, and you're gonna get this onion powder in there, Get a little salt in here, and we're gonna get a little bit of that slap your mama. Just a little salt, not a lot. I forgot to bring over this, so a little slap your mama mix. Not a lot, just a some. Then you wanna mix all of this in. Just like this. And I guarantee this will not be a dry cornbread dressing, stuffing, or whichever one. Just let me know in the comment section which one you guys, you know, say eat dressing or stuffing. And, you know, make sure you go from the bottom so you can get up mixed in. All of this, just like this. You can even use your hand and get in here. You don't have to use a spoon. So I have a whole can of chicken broth and just mix it in there and you don't need no cans of celery you don't need no can of um, what's that stuff called I got some chicken bouillon Last piece of the resistance. Alright, and you just mix this in here. Just like this. And this is it. You don't need an egg. You don't need none of that. And how easy was this? You can even buy some cornbread from the store. Alright, so let's get this into our bowl. Same pan I cooked that cornbread in. And I like to chop it up because I like kind of like a crusty crust on the top. So I just chop like this. I don't smooth the top, I just do this. Jab it. There we go. And we're going to get it into a 400 degree oven. Let it go for about 35 minutes. Alright, so it's out of the oven. Ready to go. Look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's nice and moist. And it's been sitting on the stove for a while. You know, cooling down. Look. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? 
how moist that is. Oh my goodness. And then it's crispy on top. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm. It tastes like heaven. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. You get that poultry seasoning, that sage that's inside that poultry seasoning. The sweetness on the cornbread. This is heaven in the dish right here. It's going to be heaven on your plate. Guys, I'm telling you, you got to make this dish. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section how I did with this cornbread stuffing or dressing. However you like to say it. Alright. As always guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.